Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're resuming the series of um, celebrating my biggest supporters. So this video, can you guys guess, is Kelly Rettenberger. Thank you so, so much, Kelly, for always collabing with me, supporting me. Um, and commenting watching my content like kelly always is watching my videos like i used to be in like a group chat and she'd be like oh bobby's just on in the background you know <laughs> just chatting and i was like "Ooh, i should start doing that so when i'm just like cleaning around the house or folding clothes blah 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 um i always have like Rupee in the background, um, Kendra, uh, Sean Cherie, um, Aileen, all kinds of girls, okay, um, in the, on in the background, and Kelly is one of those girls. She gave me the idea um, when I'm driving to work, I just listen to other girls' YouTube videos um, and let them play because, you know, watch time is important for YouTube, and even if I don't comment, I still watch, and I hope all of the girls who I've made connections with kind of know that <laughs> about me. Um, so yeah, and so this is the Kelly's look that I came up with. She has a series on her channel called Nailed It. Um, and she did a dupe of a girl's that she found on Instagram, I believe, look. So I'm going to link the girl's Instagram picture down below, but here's Kelly's picture. So basically, I, you know, I think I nailed it too, Kelly. <laughs> um, I, I, I think I did really good trying to do your look. So this is the rainbow look. This is my struggle eye, okay, guys? Don't judge me, okay? But um, this is my non-struggle eye. Um, and these lashes are 10-day lashes from... Moiti Cosmetics and I'm going to go over how to do the 10 day lash towards the end after the makeup. So if you guys want to see how I did that, um, go ahead and just keep watching. Okay, so let's see how to do this super cute rainbow eye that is, you know, just beautiful. I loved it from the second I saw it. It's super freaking cute. So let's try to recreate it on my face. So I'm gonna take the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and this is in the shade light sand. Now light sand is way, way too light, I know, for my face, but to make these colors pop, we're gonna use a lighter color. Um, I'm actually out of my ColourPop no filter concealer that I love to use for bright colors like this. Um, and I just use their white one, the zeros shade zero zero. <sighs> and I looked on Ulta because that's where I got it from. And I looked on ColourPop's website itself and to no avail. I think they discontinued the no, uh, filter concealers, right? If I'm incorrect and I, you can get it somewhere, please let me know in the comments down below. I honestly didn't look that hard to be <laughs> to be honest. I did not look that hard. Okay, so I hope you guys are liking my um, biggest supporter series. Um, it's kind of a double-edged sword kind of thing right now because I've been feeling a little bit uninspired. You know so it kind of is helping me go through other people's looks of like the awesome things that they're doing with their eyeballs and stuff like that um where is okay so now i'm just going to take a nyx setting powder um on a giant farah e35 brush and swirl her all up in there okay just let's set it down because these we're using mattes, you know, so which I love. I, I don't think I've ever used a done a full matte rainbow look 
to be honest. So I'm really excited to get this done. Put some chapstick on because my lips is crusty. D. You guys, I'm like obsessed with this Elf Gotta Glow lip tint. Okay, so I'm using the Morphe 24A Artist Pass and I'm going to be using the shade Rider Sky, the shade Major Inspo, and the shade Get the Shot. But I'm also going to be using um, Private Oasis right here mixed with a little bit of All Access. And I'm not using any of the other shades out of this one. Um, and then I am going to be using the NYX Ultimate palette and I am going to be using this orange. Yeah, it's, I would say it's like a corally orange and then I'm going to be using the red as well, as well as the green right here in the corner. I think the green from this that's a uh, green room it's a little too neon for this look and that's not what i want so let's get started okay um i'm gonna take this little circular brush i think yes it's an elf contouring brush so it's this little brush right here and i'm gonna take the shade ride or sky and major inspo i'm mixing those two together to make like a different kind of like a dark muted purpley blue so like a violet i guess is that is that what <laughs> whoopsie okay so i'm gonna be basically concentrating this mostly on the inner outer corner um I found that I didn't have exact shades for this. Um, uh, and I looked at both Kelly's original inspo picture and I also looked at the girls, uh, or Kelly's as well. And Kelly's the homie, so of course I'm gonna lean a little bit more towards Kelly's look that she created, but also, um, I wanted to take a look at what she was pulling inspo from. So I think in some ways mine is like hers. And I think in also in some ways mine is like the other girls. So I messed up just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> um, I didn't do what I did over here. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to take on this little fluffy brush, the shade all access that vanilla E like golden shade. So I'm going to put some all access all the way down to like the middle right here, but like so that this doesn't spread around in that, I'm going, or get on this brush, I'm just gonna like kind of avoid it. Whoopsie, okay. <laughs> and then on, on the shade Private Oasis, I'm gonna use my finger and kind of mix it together and just like lay that also over top of the shade all access. For this look, like so many shades that I mixed but i love how this turned out so totally probably eventually they're gonna do a pride parade again and i'm gonna do this again to the pride parade yeah so i found that on this eye that it got kind of muddy but i liked it i rocked with it i kind of fucked with it i was like oh that's cute you know so i just kept it <laughs> Um, so I'm taking the green from the NYX Ultimates and bringing this pretty far up my brow bone, but also blending down into the blue a little bit after we had it placed. Also, I'm gonna swoop it on the upper, upper part a little bit more over. So now I'm gonna go back with the same brush that I used for that and then just blend it together just a skosh more, just a tad, you know? <laughs> I'm so extra. Why? Why am I so extra, guys? Um, I'm about to mix the shades, the red and the coral right here.
And then I'm gonna take the green, I'm not gonna add any more green, but I'm gonna take the green that's still on there and kind of swoop over everything, doing some blendy blending. I'm gonna keep this red one and then I'm gonna take the shade, get the shot from the Morphe palette and then pack the crap out of this um, yellow. The, this yellow is actually a really good yellow. I like it a lot. It's really pretty. And I went a little ham with the yellow so just this one's super easy to blend together these the red and then this uh, yellow Now <clears throat> I'm going to take some of the blue and I'm gonna just going to do the same thing on the bottom and then outer rim it with green. Um, and also I'm going to be using the LA Girl Glide On Gel Eyeliner in my waterline. And then for tight, uh, lining the top because I am going to go in with false lashes, but I'll actually be here to put that on let's go ahead and speed through the lower lash line really quickly i do have a little bit of concealer on underneath my lower lash line so yeah um but i'm going to take elf's liquid eyeliner in black and then just line the top with this okay So this is the finished eye look. I am going to do my face off of camera really, really quickly. And then we're gonna come back and put on lashes together. Okay, I have some special lashes. They were sent to me by 10 Day Lash from Mati. Yeah, I'm super excited. Super, super excited to show you guys these. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I got itchy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, and I, so I did the rest of my face. If you're curious about what I used on the rest of my face, it will be linked in the description box below. While you're down there checking that out, I think you should go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also possibly consider hitting the notification bell and the like button as well. You know, and you could leave me a really nice comment. I would appreciate that. Yeah, so I think for the tops of my lips, um, I just went over with the end of this um, beauty blender on my lips. So it's super, cause you know how I put the e.l.f. got a glow on, lip tint on it. It toned it down a little bit, but um, Kelly had a gloss on. The other girl had like a glossy, like super nude look. So I'm gonna do like, uh, in between um because kelly's like more of a 
neutral pinky kind of nude and I don't like a full foundation lip with gloss fly <laughs> over the top of it. So I'm gonna meet them both in the middle with Bella Nargent's um, Lip Lore Gloss and this is in the shade Jealous of Us. Okay, so still super glossy like both of the girls, kind of more of a toned down kind of look, but still glossy. Um, so there's that, all done with that. I'm gonna zoom you in really quick because we are going to talk up, well, let's talk about lashes first and then we're gonna, you know, get into how to apply it. So these lashes um, that I'm wearing right here are supposed to last for 10 days. So, um, Moiti, I think is how you, shit, let me Google it real quick. I can't, <laughs> I cannot say this. Okay, I'm very, very sorry, wonderful brand, but hold on, it's Moiti. Cosmetics. <laughs> um, apparently it's French. My mouth just don't do like that, okay? <laughs> My mouth don't do like that. Moiti, not Moiti, Moiti. Please correct me if I'm wrong. If you speak French, help me. <laughs> Apparently it directly translates to half, um, half cosmetics. Can I call it half? <laughs> um, anyways, let me move along with, with what I'm trying to tell you guys. Okay, so they were kind enough. They reached out to me. They were like, hey, we want to send you our PR kit. And it comes with a whole bunch of really awesome goodies. So it comes with removal instructions, application instructions. Um, it comes with some little tools, extension applicators. Um, like some awesome stuff there gave me these lash things that's what's in here um matter of fact i'm just gonna go ahead and insert a picture um of everything that's in there right now okay and just because i think that the picture doesn't necessarily do it justice i'm gonna show you the lashes in the style los angeles and these are the lashes that are in the style Paris. Now, these aren't like separated like that. They're individual clusters. So if that makes sense to you. So I have some of these on my eye. I messed up <laughs> again. <laughs> so I put the inner corner from this eye on this eye so I well I just started using the lashes I didn't like try to you know size them up or whatever but they're individually on there if you can see that this is just an individual little chunk of lash okay um, and that's what I'm going to be using today um, on for my lashes now they give you this 10 day super lash bond and then there is a sealer that comes along with it these awesome tweezers so we're going to use the stuff that they gave us together um so basically i'm going to show you how it works i read the instructions fully okay you guys i hate reading so you know i'm dedicated <laughs> so, but um Basically, you are supposed to put the lash bond onto your lashes. I'm gonna do the outer corner first. So I'm just gonna take a little chunk of the lashes, of my lashes, and put some of this lash glue on there. Um, and then I'm gonna put a little baby bit onto my eyeliner that's right there already. And these are designed to go like adhere to your eyelashes so that's why you coat your lash with the lash bond okay so i'm gonna take um the end corner of this one and then you're also supposed to, oopsie um you're also supposed to take the lash bond and put it on top of the lash itself 
Jesus. I gotta get it together. I'm trying to be able to show you guys and also get it on there myself. These lights are kind of blinding if you stare directly into them. <laughs> okay, so let's zoom in. Okay. So I have a handy dandy mirror right here and I'm going to just stick this eyelash right in my lash line. So after you get it placed where you want it, you just kind of smash together your natural lash and the mochi left. Not mochi, that's the fucking dessert. <laughs> Mati, mochi. Help me. You guys are seeing like me struggle so hard. And, but I feel like you understand, right? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so, um, basically that's how it works. Um, I got one little, uh, I want to call it a weft, but it's not a weft. One little section. Okay. I got one section on and for time's sake, I'm going to put them on on camera, but also speed this situation up just so we're not here forever. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the next and last part of this whole situation right here is the Moichi uh, Tende Super Lash Seal. So basically all you do is like a regular mascara, you put this over the whole thing. Um, and it's supposed to seal it, so um, on the other side, I did still use my normal mascara on the bottom lashes and on these baby lashes in the front. So that's what I'm gonna do over here. They do suggest on the instructions to <clears throat> there are some warnings. You're not supposed to put the glue under here, the bond under your eyelashes, and then adhere them to the underneath of your eye. These aren't intended for that. So if you wanna try that, that's at your own risk, they say. So um, also you need to avoid getting your lashes wet for up to 48 hours after application. Um, they don't want you to rub or touch the eyelashes. Um, when showering, don't position your head directly under the stream of water, but it's okay if your lashes get indirect wet. Um, don't apply a mascara to extensions. I already did that. <laughs> um, do not use oil-based products around the eyes and do not sleep on your face or use a special sleep, our special use our special sleep mask. So apparently oil-based things will take these off. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work seeing as how I use a gel to oil makeup remover and I can't have rainbow eyes all week, honey. So we're gonna have to get this figured out. Let me hit my face with some setting spray and see what that does. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna keep these on for 10 days. I don't doubt that they'll work for 10 days though, cause if you need like lash extensions that you can do at home with just like a glue situation that isn't like 
too crazy. They have a lot of different styles, which I like and appreciate. I would probably have to get way better at um, applying these with the glue, like find a technique that works for me because I feel like their technique did not necessarily work for me. But I mean, they're cute. I do like them. They. They look reasonably um, natural, except for the glue is very shiny, but you you couldn't tell if I, unless you were like looking, looking. Um, can I get to, okay. So, I don't have the uh, Moichi foaming gel, but they did give me um, some swabs and they did give me the 10 day lash gel lash removal. Um, so apparently you're supposed to stick the swab into the gel removal and put it onto your eyelid. Um, so you're supposed to just coat them on top and on the bottom wait five minutes and then you can take it off um and then they just want you to get a tweezer and and pull them off um and then they want you to use the moti facial foaming lash wash i have a lash wash upstairs that just so happens to be foamy so i'll just go ahead and use that but this um is my review for that this is Kelly's look, okay? Thank you so much, Kelly, for always being so kind to me, um, collabing with me, and just being an awesome chick and having like the best hair in the world, okay? I'm a little jealous of your hair. Um, so I didn't even try to do a Kelly like big, beautiful curls, cause like that's, signature Kelly okay but yeah um don't forget to like share and subscribe this video um to my channel subscribe to my channel you know guys show me some love here okay please <laughs> and thank you I'll see y'all next time bye